thrilled to be joined by none other than Michael Rappaport. He's playing at Club Helium this weekend. Actually, begins Thursday. He's got shows Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, Michael, give, give us a sense of of what we can expect. Your your sense of humor when I see you on talk shows is always sort of self deprecating. Is that is that uh, how your comedy is? I'm definitely self uh, deprecating. I like to poke fun at myself. I like to poke fun at everybody else. It's uh. You know, it's an interactive show. I like to talk to the audience, like to get to know the crowd, and uh, I like to have a good time. I'm, I've never performed in Indianapolis, so I'm really looking forward to performing this weekend. Well, we're looking forward to having you here. You're you're really nothing short of a renaissance man. I, you've done so many movies, and that, I mean, that's how I know you is from your your film work, and and you've uh, directed a documentary as well. How much fun do you have doing stand up? as opposed to those other disciplines? Um, <laughs> disciplines. <laughs> um, I, I love doing stand-up. It's, it's um, unpredictable. Um, you know, as much as I love being an actor in a show or a movie, um, some things are out of your control. But when you're doing stand-up comedy, you're the, you're the performer, you're the director, you do the wardrobe, you do the sound, everything is on you, for better or for worse. And, and, and that's uh, one of my favorite things about it. I'm always going to love acting and, and, and continue to act, uh, but I'm really enjoying being on the road uh, doing these live shows. And when you do a live show, I mean, you're obviously a seasoned, experienced performer, but do you still get uh, any butterflies, any sort of knot in your stomach before you go on stage all alone? Um, I don't get a knot, but I get, I get excitement, excited. You know, I, I get uh, there's an anticipation before you go on. Um, I feel like if you if you're immune to that and you don't get that little buzz of excitement and, um, you know, just prepare, pre you know, just like sort of a, a preparation, preparational uh, buzz that you get before you go on stage, because, uh -huh. you know, so many things are out of your control. Uh, not that my shows are wild or anything like that, but, you know, just the, your energy as the performer, the crowd's energy. You know, what's going on in the world, what's going on in the room of, of the club. You know, so many things dictate, you know, how the show is going to unfold. Um, and I want to take a complete left turn here and go back in the day a little bit. I, I'm a long ago Philadelphia Eagles fan. I was one of those reporters who was standing in T.O.'s driveway when he was shirtless doing sit-ups. Wow. And then uh, I don't remember what year it was, but you were in the NBA Celebrity All-Star Game. And if I'm not mistaken, you were covering T.O., uh, and you did a pretty good job. I mean, had, that had to be intimidating. Uh, you're, you're correct. And I actually won MVP from guarding uh, Terrell Owens um, that year. And I, I love that you brought that up. I love your memory and, 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 <laughs> and for, for iconic sports moments. <laughs> yeah. Because there's, you know, like Ali Frazier, there's Reggie Jackson hitting the three home runs. There's Tom Brady, you know, doing this, that, and the third. And then there's Michael Rappaport guarding T.O. at the Celebrity All-Star Game. And, and I'm glad you put it in the class uh, uh, that it, it, it was supposed to be. <laughs> well, um, you are about 6'2", so you, I, I'm thinking you probably had your hands full with a guy that big and that athletic. Well, listen, the feet move, and and, and defense is about, is about uh, you know, effort. It, it's about tenacity. I also uh, was able to get into his head uh, mentally. Uh -huh. uh, but he, he's a good guy, and uh, you know, I, every time I see him, I remind him of of the fact that I uh, I was able to shut him down uh, defensively and win that MVP of the Celebrity All Star Game. Well, we uh, Michael, we're doing this early in the week, but uh, your people have told my people, all right, they told me I don't actually have any people that you are going to actually come and be on our show this Friday when you are in town. Uh, we're we're looking forward to that and. You will be joined by Randy, Alice, and me, and uh, you'll fit right in because Alice is like six four, and I'm I'm pretty close to six four. So maybe we can't wait. <laughs> I will be in in the studio live and in person, and I can't wait uh, to come. And I can't wait for the shows uh, all weekend uh, at the uh, at the Helium Comedy Club. I can't wait to make a you know a, a return to Indianapolis. Well, it's going to be a thrill for all of us to meet you, Michael Rappaport. Looking forward to your shows at Club Helium beginning Thursday night. Thanks so much yes. for joining us this morning on Lifestyle Live. Thanks for having me. I'll talk to you soon.